Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Joe with JSC Baseball Collector coming back at you with another video. Today we've got part two of our 2021 opening day hobby box. Busted into the first half of this earlier in the week. Uh, that was posted a couple of days ago on the channel. And now we're gonna get into the second half of the box, the final 18 packs. Um, on the first half of the box, we did pretty well. We hit a couple of nice rookies. I'm sorry, I bumped my camera there. A couple of the nice rookies. I think we had a Dahlbeck in there, Mountcastle, a bomb. Um, we had a really cool Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, blue foil. I expect to get a couple more blue foils in the second half of this box. So why don't we get right into it tonight and get to ripping. So starting it off, we've got a Nico Future Stars, a Dylan Carlson rookie, very, very nice. That was one we did not hit in the first half of the box. Really like Dylan Carlson. I think he's been playing pretty well to start to start off the season. JD Martinez. Ah, very cool Babe Ruth. Gonna put him in the background just because he's the babe. So two very nice cards in this first pack already, and I'm as always struggling with the stands. Buxton, Tejada, and Brett Gardner. I think baseball season's going pretty well. You know, my Yankees haven't looked so hot. They're kind of very hit or miss right now. I'm having trouble with this pack. Uh, but the season, the season's going going pretty well. I mean, you know, other than Tatis going down, um, Hira, Mookie, let's see what this is, a Bryce Harper, outstanding opening day, Correa, there's a nice Sixto rookie, and a Reese Hoskins. So just going to pull a couple of these nice ones off to the side as I meant to do, put them in my nice pile. There's a Brendan McKay Future Stars. He's still rehabbing. And there's a Joe Adele rookie card. Very, very nice. So Adele's another guy who hasn't quite made it up to the big jet this year. We'll see what he finally does. Oh, and there's Mr. Met. So we have Mr. Met and Mrs. Met from the last video. You can make a little pair there. Ramon Laureano, who I believe is off to a very nice start this year. And there's Tyler Stevenson. Shout out to Professor Collector. That's this guy right there. But yeah, I've actually uh, not been super plugged into baseball these last few days between, you know, the Masters and just work and other things, you know, other than catching a bit of the Yankee game. I'm not entirely sure what's been going on in the league, so I'm going to have to do a little research into that. There's a very nice Christian Pache. We're doing pretty nice in the first half of this box, or the first half of this, uh, the first half of the second half of this break. Um, getting all the big rookies. There's a Harmon Killebrew, Legends of Baseball. This is a pretty nice little set. I wonder how many cards are in this Legends of Baseball set, because I, I definitely would like, like to maybe put that one together. Is that Alex Gordon? Yeah, Alex Gordon and a Therese Scooball. So yeah, I'm gonna have to, you know, check in on the league. You know, having a rough first week of fantasy baseball. I think I'm in uh, four leagues and I'm only winning in one of them. Uh, as of right now, there's that Sano. We saw that one in the last video where you sprinkle in the dirt. There's a Philadelphia Phillies opening day. Oh, and we hit a relic. Kevin Kiermeyer didn't even feel the feel the thickness. A Kevin Kiermeyer. Little patch, opening day relic. Congratulations, you've just received an opening day relic card from the 2020 opening day baseball. So, very nice little hit there. Definitely cannot complain about that. So let's make room for him in the middle. You know, not the biggest Kevin Kiermeyer fan, not exactly the guy you wanna hit if you're gonna, you know, have to hit a relic, but it's still not terrible. I think in the last video, I, uh, I showed the odds and I'll show them again here really quickly. Um, you know, I think I made a mistake saying that their autograph odds were like 1 in 39,000. I think that was a particular type of insert set autograph, which is particularly rare. I think the, you know, just standard opening day autograph, it looks like is right here, 1 in 681. Um, but relics, I think, aren't particularly common either. I'm um, looking on here. Diamond relic, is it that one? 1 in 655. So... You know, pretty pretty rare, that's for sure. I think it's one in six fifty five. So we definitely lucked up and beat the odds hitting hitting that right there. Here we've got a Yachty, Seeger, Eduardo. That's the Red Sox. There's Mr. Tatis. 
Is he card number one in this set as well? Yes, he is. There's Judge for the PC and a Christian Javier rookie. So yeah, when I'm filming this, you know, I think I mentioned in a couple of the past videos, Tatis has gone down. You know, it really seems like an injury where he's going to be gone for the entire season. Looks like we have one of those blues in this one. We'll, uh, I spoiled it. It looks like it's going to be a white sock. But it looks like Tatis and there's a Tristan McKenzie. There's another Tony Gonsolin cup. And a Yon Makata blue foil. So it looks like Tatis is going to be gone for the year. They only put him on the 10-day disabled list, you know, saying they're going to try to avoid surgery for the time being, but, you know, it really seems like that's probably going to be where this ends up is with him, you know, getting some sort of surgery on that, on that right, uh, on that shoulder of his. There's a George Brett, Legends of Baseball, Luis Patino rookie, and a Nick Madrigal rookie. Very nice. Let's see. Ian Happ. There's a Kyle Lewis cup. I'm not sure if he's played yet this year. I think he might still be on the disabled list, but definitely looking to get him back on the field. Jacob deGrom, who had a just classic Jacob deGrom Mets start the other night. His you know first start of the year after the Mets finally got back on the field after the COVID stuff with the Nationals, where he pitched an absolute gem. They pulled him out, and they just blew the game. Um you know, on, on his behalf. There's a Bob Feller, outstanding opening day from 1940. That's a pretty cool one. Mondesi, was that Berrios? Yep, Berrios, and a Nick Solak future stars. That was definitely not in series one, so we'll probably be seeing this card in series two with the powder, powder blue unis. But DeGrom, DeGrom is a guy I just absolutely love to pitch, or love to watch pitch. Um, I was at his debut in 2014 with a couple of buddies of mine from high school. Um, one's a big Mets fan, a couple other guys are just, you know, not big baseball fans, but we all just went to a game together. There's a nice Debbie Garcia. Uh, we all went to a game together, and it was Jacob deGrom versus Chase Whitley. It was, a, yeah, it was a Subway Series game, I think in June or July. I think it was June of 2014, I think it was his rookie year. And, um, you know, I hadn't really heard much or knew much about deGrom at the time, and it was the first time I had ever seen him throw. There's a nice Hank Aaron, rest in peace. Brady Singer rookie, and there's Kluber who pitched uh, today for the Yankees actually and did not look very good. Uh, but yeah, we were at this this you know Subway Series game back in '14. Degrom versus Chase Whitley, and uh, you know I was just watching Degrom throw, watching his mechanics, and, and the way he pitched in that game. I just turned to my buddy and I was like, oh, he's gonna be good. Like he is just gonna be very, very good. And you know it's one of the you know probably few predictions I've ever actually gotten right. Um, Oh, wrong pile there. Uh, you know, with, with that kind of thing. And, you know, it was just so self-evident from from that very first game on. And, you know, funny enough, uh, the Yankees actually won that game. Uh, there's a Luis Garcia rookie card. The Yankees actually went on to win that game one nothing, which is just, you know, if that's not, um, you know, things to come, there's a nice Ted Williams. Uh, we hit another Alec Bomb. So I believe we hit a bomb in the first half of the box. And it looks like we've got one here in the second half as well. So, not too shabby. Um, but yeah, the Yankees won that game. You know, Chase Whitley went on to do basically nothing with his career. I didn't really expect much out of him, you know, following him as a prospect back then uh, with the Yankees organization. I don't think anyone really expected him to be anything big, but he pitched a very nice debut. The Yankees won at one nothing, and that was just, you know, a sign of things to come for... His Reds, the sign of things that come for DeGrom's career, where he pitches absolute gems and basically loses one nothing. I mean, that's that's just been the story of the guy's entire career. Um, and it just happened again the other night. He pitched an absolute gem, and, you know, bullpen went on to blow the game, and the team just didn't hit for him. There's a Kettle Marte, and our last blue foil is a Daniel Johnson rookie card foil. So not the rookie that you're looking for in a blue foil, but a rookie nonetheless. Who's this guy? Mr. Red. So basically Mr. Met with a big baseball head except in a Reds jersey. And a couple of other guys there. So we're down to our last few packs. This is, you know, luckily not going to be a terribly long video. And I, I can tend to ramble. And these videos can run on run on a bit long if I really get myself going. This is Justice Sheffield, Hater, Bruce Stargrad are all future stars. There's our Ernie Banks and the Legends of Baseball. I gotta, you know, I'm, I'm really going to look at how many cards are in that set. I, 
But I've pulled a lot, a lot out of this box. It could be pretty close to finishing the set <laughs> um, if, if I haven't already. A couple of, a couple of other guys standing and a rookie card there. Um, but I do. I really like that Legends of Baseball set. There's a Kevin, Kevin Biggio, Austin Meadows, uh, Bellinger, who was just put on the DL today. Rendon. There's the Mets. Speaking of that, speak of the devil. Nico Goodrum and a Trent Grisham Future Stars. All right, we're down to our very last pack here. Let's see what it holds. If we can get any any other nice rookies. Freed, Rosario. There's a Nate Pearson. That's a pretty good one. There's the uh, A's Elephant, Luis Castillo, and Whit Merrifield will close it out. So, pretty nice little stack of uh, you know rookies and inserts here. Just run through it really quickly as usual. We get the Legends of Baseball, George Brett, Yohan Moncada Blue Foil, a Tony Gonsling Cup, Tristan McKenzie Rookie, Nice Tatis, Javier Rookie, Judge for the PC, another Tony Gonsling Cup Guard, Tariq Scooball, Harmon Killebrew, Tyler Stevenson from the Reds, Future Stars of Brendan McKay, Future Stars of Nico Horner, we got the Bryce Harper 2013 Outstanding Opening Day, Sixto Rookie, Pearson Rookie, Future Stars of Trent Grisham, the Ernie Banks Insert, Bruce Darker Adderall Future Stars, the Daniel Johnson Rookie Blue Hollow, this very nice Babe Ruth Legends of Baseball Insert, followed by Ted Williams, two of the greats of all time, back-to-back -back right there, Luis Garcia Rookie Card, Brady Singer Rookie Card, there's a Hank Aaron, 1974, Outstanding Opening Day. Debbie Garcia, rookie card for the Yanks. I expect he'll be getting the call soon. Nick Solak, Future Stars. Bob Feller, 1940, Outstanding Opening Day. Kyle Lewis with the cup. Nick Madrigal, rookie. Luis Patino, rookie. And then a bunch of rookies in the background here of the top guys. You had Carlson and Pache. Bob and Adele. And then a long odds hit in the box, a Kevin Kiermeyer diamond opening day relic with a little piece of either pants there or, or road jersey. I think it's pants. I don't think they wear a gray, a gray road jersey. So that'll wrap up opening day for me. Um, you know, maybe if I see a box or two out in the wild, um, you know, retail wise, I'll, I'll pick some up, but you know, chances are this is all the opening day I'll open. I generally just do one box of it a year. Uh, but you know, like I said in the last video, opening day is always a fun little rip. It's a good budget rip. It's good for kids. Um, especially the way the prices are on the hobby now, you know, you can't go wrong with it. It's basically flagship with, you know, just a additional little logo on it. So, you know, don't be afraid of it. It's a, you know, cheap little $50 box. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. You know, maybe you'll beat the odds and pull one of the, pull an autograph, pull a relic. Um, but otherwise, you know, you're just gonna get a bunch of nice base cards, a bunch of bunch of rookies. You know, I've got some doubles of rookies, I think, in there. So, um, but yeah, thanks for sticking around, guys. This was a really fun little rip here. So hit the subscribe button, toss me over a thumbs up, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot. Take care.